Hey guys, what is up? Zekiller from Zekiller's Life, and today I want to show you a really cool lizard that I think, if you're going to start getting into reptiles, is a great species and is just the cutest little thing. So, oh, just hit. So this is a setup, and I'll get her out right now. These are really cool little lizards. They tend to be a little more difficult. At handling it first, but oh. <laughs> Come on. there she is. This is Lucy Lou, my step runner. She is a captive bred, usually captive bred step runner. Usually, step runners are about eh, that much bigger from tail to head, so she's still got some growing to do. But she's the sweetest little thing. Now, one of the cool things about step runners is They've got all the good parts about a big lizard. They're super calm, tame, easy to handle, and great eaters. She'll eat right out of your hand if you get her a millworm, uh, which is great. These are really, they're pretty brave, They don't, and they don't run like small lizards do. So they've got all the good qualities of a big lizard, but none of the bad, and then they also have none of the bad qualities of a small lizard. The good parts about a small lizard is, you know, they're smaller and easier to handle. And some of the bad qualities is they're really skittish and really fast. Step runners are really calm after you handle them for a few minutes. And they, the cool thing about step runners is they have a really big personality. I mean, like, she's probably more, act, more, I don't know what to say, um, more, what's the word? Uh, she just spends more time with me than probably some of my. Well, then my bearded dragons. Like, well, definitely not him. He hates me. Now, he's he's evil. Just to let you know, he's the worst. But I love him. So, but step runners, I would highly recommend them to anyone who's gonna get a new lizard. I mean, leopard geckos would be my first choice. But if you want something that's a little bit, you know, more active that you see running around in their cage, I would definitely uh, choose a step runner. And these are from the from uh, uh, Europe. And they're just really nice little lizards. But the important thing you want to look for in pet stores is that they're not adults. You want to get um, yearlings about this size because most of the time if they're adults in pet stores, they are wild caught. And I've personally seen ones that have been wild caught and, they, and I've handled them that are wild caught. And they just don't have as much personality and as calm. They just tend to be a little more off than the captive bred ones. That was a great little lizard for starters. They eat millworms, um, millworms, crickets. They, they're active hunters. If you put food in there, they go out and chase them down. Uh, they don't need much humidity. I keep her at about 30% humidity just because her soil gets a little too dry in there. And so, yeah. And I would uh, put her on either sand or cocoa fiber or mulch, which is what they do best on. And you can see she's just a sweet little thing. I mean, this is a great little lizard. I mean, most of the time when you see people petting a lizard like this, it's either a big tegu or a, or a bearded dragon. But you can see she's just the sweetest little thing, and uh, she's great. So they need, do need high heat, though. They need about a basking spot, about uh, 90 to 100 degrees. But other than that, they have really simple care. And look, just look at the colors on those guys. I mean, they're just beautiful and uh, just super handleable. I mean, never bite. I mean, they're just really cool, sweet little lizards. So, step runners. I would highly recommend these to anyone. They're great little lizards, have a big personality, but are just super calm and nice. So, yeah. Thanks for watching my video, guy and guys, and I will see you in the next one.